Hi everyone, I'm Alessandro, welcome back to Mr. Weasel Art, and I know what you're thinking. Why am I so handsome today? And the reason is quite simple, as you can see, I'm not wearing sunglasses. But now, we are going to discover how to draw hats, so you can put them on the characters and the creatures that you create. So now leave a like, subscribe and let's go! Alright, so before we start drawing hats, there's one uh, thing that I need to mention really quickly which is um, the form of the human skull is not actually a circle when seen from above or, uh, or a sphere it will be more like a novel, something more like, more like this so uh, we can draw a human skull by drawing a circle and then cutting uh, out its uh, sides so here we would have the front of the skull, the nose would be here and then the form of the skull would be something more like more like this. This is a little bit more accurate than just drawing a circle or an oval. So this is a human skull uh, seen from above. So let me just erase the sides. So this is this is a little bit more uh, precise. And I just wanted to explain this to you because we put hats on our hats, or at least that's where they are supposed to go. And there are many different types of hats. Some of them uh, have their holes uh, like this, uh, with a circular form, and some of them have their holes more like this, closer to the anatomy of the human skull. So that's something that is going to uh, make a difference when you are designing uh, the hat uh, for your character. So now let me just delete this layer right here. And let's start drawing uh, different hats uh, on a head. Alright, so now I'm going to uh, create a new layer and here I'll start sketching uh, some hats. Let me see, let me take another brush. So the first thing to start drawing hats is... Uh, first, we're going to define uh, the form of the hat uh, in a simple way. So let's say that it is just like a cone or a... Um, cylinder over uh, the character's head, something like this. So we, we can do this uh, to, to uh, start learning how to draw a hat. So here we have our first hat, with, which is just basically a cone. Something like this. Really simple and really uh, circular. So this one has a, a circular base, a circular hole. So, this one kind of reminds me of something from, I don't know, Africa and some other uh, cul uh, cultures like that. So, this is our first hat. So, this line right here, this one right here, is just uh, the line that goes behind his head. So, it actually does not exist here in this uh, part. So that's the first idea of uh, drawing a hat, something really simple like this. Now let me delete this one, and now let's go um, to uh, another example. The second idea is uh, creating like a cone. So the base of a cone would be something cir uh, circular, like this, but we have a cone here. This is something that uh, you can use uh, as a base to draw uh, the head of a mage or something like that. So this thing would be a really good base, would serve as a base for drawing a mage's hat. Something like what you, you would see in Harry Potter, not like this, but then you start to distort this form like this, and then you can uh, create a hat and put other details like that. For example, something like this, and it's really simple. And you, and as you can see, I already 
uh, have a mage's hat or something like that. So now let me delete this one and let's start now uh, doing something more uh, finished. So for our first hat, I'm going to draw a, uh, a cap. Uh, so the different thing uh, between uh, the hats that I was drawing before and a cap is that its whole, its base is something, it's not that circular like this, it's more anatomic, it's more like this. So that's the shape of the hole. So here we need to uh, identify the frontal plane of the head, which is here, and the side plane that goes there. So this, not just a circular, completely circular, you can do that, but this would, would feel more, uh, let's say, a little bit more uh, real when you put like this, let's say, kind of more squarey shape to it. So now we use our idea of a cylinder, something like this, that goes up. It doesn't need to be that big. That depends on the size of the head. So it's the same idea as the cylinder that I, w I was uh, doing before. And then here we have the part to, that creates a, a shade. So here we go. Of course, the way that he's using the hat, uh, the hat is also uh, important. So here is just uh, like this above, uh, above his head. It's not to the side. Uh, it can be pressed down to his head. Uh, it could be at this level. But here I'm doing this to apply like a cool, uh, let's say a, a better perspective. Let me do something different now. Something like this. I'm gonna zoom in. Okay, so now speeding up the video a little bit, just because here I'm drawing the contours over the uh, sketch that I made and correcting some stuff. And now going back to normal speed. So here we have our first hat. It's it's uh, re it's really simple. It's a it's a cap. So if I raise uh, his head, you'll see how it actually stays on his head. So it's something like this. I think it's kind of uh, out of place. It could be a little bit uh, uh, lower on his head, but we have an idea. And it's kind of small here in this drawing. But this is our uh, first. Uh, hat, so I'm going to put it uh, to the side. So this is the first one, and now let's start uh, drawing the uh, the next one. So the next hat is uh, the same one that uh, Rufi from One Piece uh, uses. So it has a circular base. So it's going to be something like this. I don't know if it, it is kind of uh, loose um, on the head or if it is uh, more tight, but I'm going to do it like this. So here you have something more like a half a sphere or even less than half a sphere right here to create the body of the hat. And then the other part is oh, it has the same direction here and it's kind of done it's, it's something it's something like this so let me just erase this part here that you won't see and the thing about the sketches that I make uh, for every drawing uh, sometimes I don't even follow uh, the lines that I uh, put um, on the paper or here in this case on the screen um, sometimes I, I see the sketch uh, and I think some things could be better so if I know what uh, can be better on my drawing I just uh, go and change uh, directly uh, without changing the sketch so uh, for example uh, the upper part this part of the hat uh, it's it's just too small, so I made this line, now it's a little bit uh, taller, a little bit bigger, so I think it's better like this. So I didn't quite uh, follow the sketch. 
let me erase uh, his um, head so you can see how it looks. So it's something like this, as you can see. So it's uh, really circular. Okay, let me get back here and I'm going to put this head to the side. So here's our second hat. And now the uh, third hat is going to be a cowboy hat. So a cowboy hat is not as straightforward as these other two because it kind of changes uh, its shape. So it has uh, uh, a circular, uh, sorry, an oval base, something more like this. And if we look it, uh, if we look it uh, from the front, uh, it kind of goes up, and it has uh, some folds on the sides. And of course, that depends. There are different types of uh, cowboy hats. Some some have this uh, thing in the middle. Some don't. Some are just like this, and they are. They can be. Uh, folded on the sides something like this too so i'm ju just going to create a cowboy hat on his head and it's going to be lean forward like this so it's going to cover uh his face a little bit okay so now we're speeding up the video and as you can see the cowboy hat is more anatomical uh, than the previous one and also it is based on a cylinder which in this case it has a bigger bo bottom than its top and again uh, all of the lines of the sketch that I'm putting down here I'm not going to follow them exactly because I think the hat it also came out at the end uh, a little bit smaller than what it should actually be but I think that for purposes of demonstration it is okay Okay, so now it's slowing down the video again, going back to normal speed. It's time to see uh, how the hat uh, looks on him. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to raise uh, his face again, uh, his head. And we can already see that the hat is not... Um, uh, his, uh, its size is not uh, that accurate. Maybe later I'm going to increase its size a little bit. And here I need to erase this part, so so it makes a sense again. So there you go. So that's a cowboy hat, and everything here is based on those uh, basic forms. Uh, really simple. Sometimes you will struggle with uh, some angles and some of the positioning, but uh, that's okay. You just need to try uh, more times until you get it right. So I'm going to put this head to the side and now let's create a weird hat for him. It's time to create our, our own hat. Okay, so we're speeding up the video again. Uh, for this hat I was thinking about uh, many different things actually. So it is basically an improvisation and a mixture of something that you would use in a, a snowy day. Uh, for a cold day and at the same time something kind of crazy like a, a magician's hat and also a mixture of an old um, let's say uh, airplane uh, pilot's uh, helmet so that's basically what I had in mind when I had created this thing so it actually makes no sense it's not uh, let's say uh, a logical hat so I don't know what uh, the, uh, its parts are going to be used for. What do they mean uh, in the form actually? So this is basically just like a, a quick brainstorm that I had uh, to create uh, something new. So I can base myself on this uh, afterwards uh, to create a more functional hat and that has a cool design too.
Okay, so now he's slowing down the video again. I'm going to erase his head so we can see how it looks on him. And as you can see, I also added uh, some uh, feathers uh, behind this head just to add some more static to this one. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply color to it to assign some colors and also to the other heads too. And we'll see how uh, they look uh, in colors. But basically that's how uh, you construct a, a or you draw a head uh, in a simple uh, way. So there you go, this is how they look in color. Uh, it's something uh, really simple, but I think it's enough for you to get the uh, general idea. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, uh, comment something down below, follow me on Instagram at mr.weasel.art and also check out my other videos. So that's it for today, see you next time, bye!